Hi friends, I am Mrs. Priya Padua and I am here to present you the English class for grade 4. Friends, let's start the lesson with new words. The new words first is plenty means a lot of something. Second is shied means to breathe deeply. Third is trembled means to shake when afraid or cold. Fourth is peeped that means to look secretly. Fifth is crashed that means to hit with force. And sixth is rejoiced that means cheer in joy, feel happy. I will start the lesson the fir tree. But before that I would like to tell you some facts about the fir tree. There are about 56 species of fir trees in the world. There are they are found in the mountains of America, Europe, Asia and Africa. Fir trees can live for more than 700 years. And fir trees are decorated on Christmas. It grows best in moist soil. Sunlight and plenty of water is needed for its growth. Wood of most fir is used as plywood, essential oil, etc. The different kinds of fir trees are balsam fir, Douglas fir, Fraser fir, white fir, noble fir and so on. Also, people celebrate Fir Tree Appreciation Day on June 18th. I would like to tell you something about the author of this story, Hans Christian Andersen. He was born on 2nd April 1805 in Denmark. His notable works are The Little Mermaid, The Ugly Duckling, The Emperor's New Clothes and so on. Friends, let's read the chapter. Out in the forest, there was a pretty little fir tree. It grew in a good place. It had plenty of sunlight and fresh air. There were many other fir and pine trees around it. So friends, out in the forest means inside the forest. Pretty means but beautiful. Good place here it implies to the soil, water and sunlight which is needed for the growth of a plant. Plenty means lot of. I would also like to tell you the difference between a fir and a pine tree. Fir trees have needles which are sharp but flexible. You can roll it. But the pine trees leaves are thin. They have narrow needles. The little fir tree was in a hurry to grow up. Children picked berries from the tree. They made it their resting place. So children, the little fir was in a hurry. Hurry means quickly. It wanted to grow up very quickly. And the berries here are the fruits of the tree. Oh, isn't it a nice little tree? They would say. Who would say? The children would say that. It's the baby of the forest. But the little tree didn't like the remarks at all. So here the tree didn't like it to be called as baby. It wanted to grow up very fast. So it had problem when the children called it little. I wish I were a grown up tree. The little tree shied. Shied is breathe deeply. Then I could stretch out my branches and see the world from high above. Stretch out means to relax, to have a lot of space. The birds would make their nests on me. My branches would swing with the wind like the branches of all the big trees. So it never wanted to be a small tree. It always wished to be a big tree. Slowly, the tree became very tall and thought happily. Oh, to get bigger and taller, that is the most wonderful thing in the world. In the autumn, woodcutters came and cut down a few big trees. Autumn here means season of the year between the summer and the winter. The young fir tree trembled to see how the big trees crashed to the ground after they were cut. Here, tremble means to shake and crash means it fell on the ground. 
Where are they going? He wondered. Here they are the trees who has been cut and is taken home. We know, we know, the sparrows chirped. We have been to the town and peeped in the windows of the houses. We have seen them planted in a warm room and decorated with beautiful things. So the sparrows told the tree that they knew that the trees have been cut and they have been planted in the warm room of the city. It must be lovely to live in a warm room, the fir tree thought. And Christmas must be special. They will decorate me too. So it wanted to go to the warm room and get it decorated. Rejoice as much as you can in fresh air and light. The air and sunlight told him. But the tree did not listen. Here rejoice means enjoy as much as you can in the fresh air and light. And it was told by the air and sunlight. Because when you go back to the room, you are not going to get any fresh air or light. Many more months passed by and it was winter once again. When Christmas tree time came, the woodcutter cut the fir tree as it looked green and big. It felt the pain on its trunk. It here is the fir tree. It was sad for the fir tree to leave the forest and all the dear old tree friends. So it was time for the tree to go to the city. The fir tree was planted in a large tub filled with sand and was placed in a big house. It was decorated with candies, colored candles, dolls and walnuts. And at its top was a large gold star. It looked beautiful. Children, as you can see in the picture how the tree is decorated, the tree felt very happy. But when the candles were lit, they burnt its branches. Soon, a group of happy and excited children came into the room. The candles burned down one by one. And the children took down the Christmas gifts that were tied to the branches. They did not look at the tree anymore. So the tree was left barren without any gifts. The next morning, the maids came with their dusters. They took the tree and put it in a dark corner of a room. The tree thought, I must have been put here for shelter until springtime comes. How good these people are. The tree missed all its friends. So here we can see that the tree is sad now. Why? Because he is missing all his friends who were there with him in the field. Squeak, squeak came a little mouse with his friends. Squeak is the sound of the mouse here. They sniffed the fir tree and played in and out among its branches. Sniffed is to smell. Where did you come from? The mice asked him. I come from the forest where the sun shines and the little birds sing, said the fir tree. The mice said, oh, how wonderful. Now the tree remembered all the good things about the forest. The next morning, four people came and pulled out the tree. They put him in the backyard near a garden. So what he thought? The tree remembered all the good things when he was there in the field, in the forest. Now the four people came and pulled him out and put him in the backyard of the ground. The tree saw the beautiful flowers blooming in the garden and felt sad. Why he felt sad? Because now he is not able to bear any flower or fruit. That's why he is sad. My days are over now, said the poor tree. Why didn't I enjoy them while I could? Now they are gone, all gone. A servant came and chopped the tree into little pieces for firewood. And so the tree burned away completely. So friends, the message of the story is, we must be happy with whatever we have. And one more thing very important for all the children is, 
we should not cut trees and we should plant more and more trees. Thank you for listening to me and have a good day.